and somebody's going to come and beat that person up as soon as they get down off of the down under the floor here and say terrible things to them like I don't care if you're Dr. So-and-so and if there's 26 letters of the alphabet after your name I don't care who you are okay if you come to somebody when they get down and you tell them that it's an insult to your intelligence that they repeat themselves I think those are the words of Satan those are not the words of Jesus Christ. I think we need to be very careful how we handle some kind of being angry with one another. Stupid things that people say and do. What happens if somebody says something from up here that you disagree with? Are you going to leave the church? Are you going to walk away? What if somebody's... We have a lot of people that have the message down really good. And we got some people that, that, that really love people really good, but maybe they don't have the message down so good. Amen. What if they say something in a Vespers class that you don't agree with? Are you just not going to come to Vespers anymore? I, I, wonder about, I wonder about pride. I really do, because it can hit all of us, any of us, at any time. And it's something we have to guard ourselves about. Let's turn ourselves to 2 Corinthians. You're already at Corinthians. Let's go to 2 Corinthians. You know, we need each other. And there's people that need to be together so that we can finish this work. 2 Corinthians 10 and verse 5. You there? Casting down imaginations in every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bring into captivity every thought to what? Obedience. The obedience of God. Alright, I want to read you a little something that I have in my notes here. This is uh, from the book Evangelism 696. <coughs> This is my favorite author, by the way. It was not the will of God that the coming of Christ should be thus delayed. God did not design that his people, Israel, okay, that's us, should wander 40 years in the wilderness. He promised to lead them directly to the land of Canaan and establish them there a holy, healthy, happy people. But those to whom it was first preached went not in because of unbelief. Their hearts were filled with murmuring, rebellion, and hatred. Doesn't sound like a God thing, does it? And he could not fulfill his covenant with them. For 40 years did unbelief, murmuring, and rebellion shut out ancient Israel from the land of Canaan. The same sins have delayed the entrance of modern Israel into the heavenly kingdom. In neither case were the promises of God at fault. It is the unbelief, the worldliness, unconsecration, and strife amongst the Lord's professed people that have kept us in this world of sin and sorrow so many years. I, for one, am sick and tired of death. I'm sick and tired of the filth. I, I, you pray for me because I have a hard time. Please, I have a hard time with people standing on a corner. I mean, I, I, I go to Daytona. That's where I work. And they're all over. They're everywhere. And it's so hard. And, and you got to People walk around with their pants down and their underpants hanging. They think that's cool. No. How can that be? I don't understand this. When I was a kid growing up, if you had a little piece of your underpants hanging out, us guys, we'd grab them and try to get them up over the top of your head. You learn quick not to let anything hang out there. 
Listen, we, we, have, we have difficult things that need to be dealt with. The world is sick. It's sick and dying. And we have to look different. You see, I brought these. My wife was like, no, you can't take my amaryllis. <laughs> is that beautiful or what? Yeah. Look at Both of these took off at the same exact time. That one? You see something missing? Yeah. Okay. Does it remind you of maybe the fig tree? There's only one thing in this world God ever cursed. Jesus cursed when he was walking on this earth. What was it? It was the fig tree. Ooh, we're going to see something. But nothing's there. Look at this one. We need to be, we need to be like cactuses. I've got cactus all over my yard. I love cactus. Cactus, anybody can grow. You can be a total idiot and grow a cactus. <laughs> All right? I can take a piece of cactus and chop it off of my, any one of my cactuses and lay it on the ground and just spit on it <laughs> for weeks while I walk by and just let it sit there in the sun without it, you know, not even touching the, the ground. You know what? I, and then you can take that cactus and just stick it in the ground and it'll take off. And in no time, it'll be blossoming flowers. We need to be like cactuses. When somebody does something that offends you, what are you going to do? Are you going to get angry with the person? You're going to beat them up? You're going to pray for them? You're going to reach out to them? You're going to lift them up? Listen, there's, there's always going to be greater and weaker than yourself. If we can't get it right here, how are we gonna how are we gonna live with angels? How are we gonna be with if you can't love him who you can see, how are you gonna love him who you don't see? Listen, I, I want to preach different messages. But God's laying this on my heart because listen, we are gonna have an evangelist come. And he's gonna be trying to bring people in here. People that aren't going to look like you. They're not going to eat like you. They're not going to talk like you. we got to love our brothers and sisters into the kingdom with a love that's not ours. With a love that's agape. If we follow Jesus Christ, it's all going to be fine, brothers and sisters. Trust me. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Let's turn to Galatians 5. And I'm just going to end it here. Galatians 5. And we're right on time. How about that? For in Jesus Christ, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by what? Love. There's that word again. It's not just love. It's an agape love. Agape love. Listen, we can't, we can't have works without genuine faith. Too many people are focused on doing good things. Okay? It's a lot easier to do good things than it is to die to self. We have to look at Jesus and follow Him. And when we, when we look at Jesus and follow Him, self is lost. Think in your, it's not rocket science. When are you the most happiest? When self is lost. When you're caring for others. Why do so many people care for others? I mean, many people do it for free. Why do they do it? Because it feels so good to them. Because why? Because self is lost. Self is gone for a little bit of time. How would you like to feel like that forever? Motivation. Gee, I can't think of any better motivation to be with Jesus Christ. Listen, and if you're really doing His work, don't you think the devil's going to come flying out of the bushes and attack you? If everything's really wonderful, you're probably not walking the right road. 
Listen, there's so much garbage on all sides today. I'm just tired of it. This world is just passing away. Let us look to the author and finisher of our faith, Jesus Christ. Our closing song is 311.
and we can we can pop out with a trumpet right here. How would you like to not die and see Jesus come? We can finish this work, brothers and sisters. I'm excited about the fact that, you know, the darker it gets, the lighter diamonds shine. You know, you can, you can stand in a hole, in a, in a hole, in the noontime sun and see the stars. We got stars all over here. God sees stars. We just need to reflect the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us be in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you so much that you love us so, that you sent your Son to be not just a gift that was given at one time, but a gift that it gives to us forever and eternity long beyond what we could even dream or comprehend. This love that we've talked about today, agape love, we we have human minds. We can't understand this kind of love. Maybe that little baby over there understands. Lord, we ask you to please, please begin to show us things that we've never, we just refuse to see. Peel back the layers. Crack these tough nuts that we are, that we may see and feel your hands upon us, Lord, that we may see with brand new eyes, because spiritually, we see with our eyes. We eat with our eyes. Let us be focused upon you that we might finish this work. I ask you also that you would bless the food that is back there with the fellowship hall and certainly all the people that prepared it. I'm thankful so much for our opportunity to have a meal together, Lord. We just ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.